All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Time and we're live on Revolutionary Camp. And yes, family, always RBG to the T. And I'm really just representing our red, black, green, and gold operation for nation building and revolution. I'm here with my good brothers and sister from the Black African Infrastructure Organization. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. And as you can see, we, you know, it's, it's all RBG energy. Yep. It's, the only difference is this is a united front where we have all these wonderful black organization, operation, and business that we're looking to connect together so we can have a more of a united front operation on the African continent. And for those who really want to sustain America and keep on doing the things that we've been doing for the last hundred years, hey, stay here and do it and get it done right so our people have a place in America to live. Because the reality of it is, is, is you know, we definitely have to get into the game on the African continent. Absolutely. And when we talk about building black infrastructure, that's 100% of the most important thing on the African Absolutely. continent, you know, road, bridges, building, communities, and so on. Yep. And as we were talking about, we talked about a lot of things, and I tell people that whenever we shoot these videos, we, we don't ever record everything, so there's a lot of things <laughs> that, uh, that you know, we didn't share with the intro video, so right. Right. you, you want to feel, both yeah. of you want to fill in with everyone about all of the different things that we talked on a touch basis with? Yeah, Jonathan, I'll let you go first. Okay, yeah, really, this is the beginning of the uh, grassroots of our organizing as an organization. This is the first time we met up as a group in person, and it was putting faces to names. And as we said earlier, that's, you know, that goes without being said, that's of utmost importance. Um, you know, the next things that we kind of talked about is, you know, where do we want to go from here? We, we talked about, you know, some of the questions that people had about the Black African Infrastructure Organization. What are, what are some of its goals, our, our expected target? You know, this is just really the whole rumblings of organizing. This is where it really begins, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's been amazing traveling to come here to Georgia, all the way from Alaska, to meet the Georgia chapter, to meet my brothers and sisters, and see how, when we come together, just the ideas that come together with us. And we all want the same thing. We all want land, infrastructure, and nationhood on the continent of our, our ancestors. We want to be on African continent. We want to control the context of our environment. We want to be able to control our schools, our uh, politics, our policies, um, our laws, all of that. So we want that. We want black freedom. And it's not going to happen here in the United States. I, I just don't see it happening. So I appreciate the BAIO for connecting us and bringing a collective group of people, like-minded, who want the same thing, want to be on the continent, want to build, and to bring us together and let's make it happen. That's what we're here for. Absolutely, fam, and, and that's what it is, and we're going like straight to the point. So for those out there that are uh, looking to see what the solution is, is you have two options. You can stay in America and fight and build what we need to build for our brothers and sisters, or, or and you can join us in the movement of Pan-Africanism on the continent as we build these communities and build these countries and be a part of the missing piece of the future of the African people. Uh, in Africa and the diaspora, it's just our energy in black America. Uh, you know. When you think about the high skilled people who have the yeah. resources that can yeah. do things, a lot of us here have those things and then that's why but I always talk about core group of leadership. Yes. Absolutely. You know, I talk about military mafia style operation where you know you have leadership running those things and you see the difference. Uh, uh, you know, you have to put a head on the snake and lead right. it with some guidance. And but at the same time too, when we talk about leadership, it's not one or two people, it's spread out mm -hmm. to where you can never fight, you know. These white devils can never trap all of us. Yeah. Uh, so as long as you know we have more and more of us on the same page and we're doing the work that needs to be done, um, it's, there's nothing but the solution from there to come. So uh, I know sometimes we have uh, some of our own people that don't see and don't feel it, and they look at you know what um, previous generation have done. But I always talk about that we can never expect any one generation to fix any, yeah. fix all of the problems That's just right. completely. Right. Like you talk about Garvey. Garvey was one of the greatest energy. Absolutely. Garvey left enough work for us to done, and I appreciate right. that he didn't do everything by himself and the uh, UNI at that time. But it's like everything that uh, we have seen from his mistake, his honor, right. to his organized uh, setup, we see that we can learn from it and truly build on to it. And that's what we have to really do. Like right now, we're in a generation where you know we're the ones that's working in these jobs. Uh, we have the military background. Mm -hmm. We have all of these things. So it's like. We can just now just cut out the middleman and like right now, I don't need the military or the airlines for me to teach my child how to be an aircraft technician or you know, or any of the skills and things that I've learned. Um, right. So when we work in these jobs and we, when we invest in these careers, we have to think of the fact that we need to learn everything mm -hmm. in those skill set and because every single right. one of it is what we need. And then we go to Ghana 
uh, like you know, you hear about Ghana Airways, a shame, um, Niger Airways, uh, or Niger Air, a shame. I mean, it's like, you know, aviation is one of the most important part of Absolutely. our world. And the fact, when I look at this, Ethiopian Airlines being one of the few black owned airlines, That's black power operation on the entire continent, or just in the black world, it's a shame. Um, yeah. We should at least have several countries just like, uh, you know, Ethiopia to, this, you know, to do those things. So when I right. talk about this infrastructure, yes, we as a people in the black African diaspora have those, but unfortunately, we need more connection on the African right. continent and we need more of our dedicated brothers and sisters that repatriate to be down with the movement for life. It can't be something where I'm gonna move to, to Ghana and then I'm gonna, oh man, I, I found a way I can just get all kind of money from the black people in America. No, that's not your job right. to exploit the rest of us. Your job is to make sure that you put things in place and lay it out for us to where we can grow and build together. Because I tell people, I'm not living nowhere where we, we have a mansion and everybody else is poor. Nope. We all have to rise nope. together. Uh, that's one Those of the biggest issues that we yeah. have with, you know, when we talk about Those like Liberia done. and uh, Sierra yeah. Leone, mm -hmm. that unbalanced energy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, nah, so nah, nah, nah. wherever we go, it's all about community. So one of the prob one of the things that I came up with a good solution, and uh, my sisters agree with it. I was telling my sister here that uh, we have to marry into the culture. Absolutely. And to my sister's like, you got some good brothers for me? I was like, I got none more good brothers on the continent. Hey, yeah. I'm not trying to diss my brothers here, but manhood is at the all-time low in black America. Manhood is at the all-time low in black America. Seriously. And a lot of other things. And when you And when you talk about our sisters, sometimes some of them don't get it here. But I tell people that the solution for the ones of us that are so pan-African and into nation building is for us to marry into the revolution on the continent. You know what I'm saying? I see, yeah. Hey, that's good. We had Africanism <laughs> naturally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing about a really black community <laughs> where our children are ra being raised together, I mean, what kind of value are they going to have? They're going to have nothing but straight black power energy. Yep. And we have never seen an evolution where you have this nothing but children growing up in a society to where they, they, society. they learn these things and everything that's that they have been told from yep. a childhood is that they are being groomed for leadership right. and taking responsibility. And I think about those evil, wicked uh, white devils, the rock child. You know, that damn oh devil got five children, but sent them all over, you have to dominate the damn world. And I'm not saying it was that simple, but that's the mindset that we have to have. We have to prop up our generations. Yeah, absolutely. No, plan for the next generation. They are the future. Right. I agree with him 100%. Right. <laughs> I will be on that African continent finding Mr. Right, and then we're going to build together. Uh, <laughs> exactly, because I've been here for 40 years, and you know, it ain't, it ain't you know, that mesh. And I'll tell you this right. I tell people after one or two years, hey, you're nation building already. You already have a few children in Africa. <laughs> Especially if you're a man and you have like two or three wives. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, but I mean, you know, I know I don't cut. I mean, because I think about it, it's like, like someone, like some of us, um, you know, you're, you're 40, maybe you have one child. It's like you already lost like 10 years, so you got catching up to do. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it, it goes to where it just goes to where you're literally grooming a future Absolutely. race of children yeah. that's the blood of our ancestors mm -hmm. on the continent in Africa. And you think about what kind of child that's that's gonna produce. Yeah, yeah. That, that, child that's, that's all about it. <laughs> Absolutely. And, 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 and child sees you building, building infrastructure, building, right. getting involved with the community. And yeah, he phase out all the coons just like that. Absolutely. You have a, you have a generation of coons that die out. There right? you go. And they die out with all the old heads that ain't about re revolution. That, that was our discussion today. We kind of talked about, we hit on the fact that we are living in a society right now in a context where the producer Negroes at the rapper rate. Negroes like a Negro manufacturing at, at the rate. And Negro manufacturing machine. That is America. Exactly. So we have to have our own machine, our own mechanism. To produce, that, yeah, to produce functional High functional, Africans. high uh, quality Africans. Exactly. African diaspora and all of it. Just pure Africans. And then all, to bring it back to that. Also by just owning a black business in itself, by having a community garden in itself, by having your own African center school in itself, it's not going to do anything in a cesspool. We need to be able to have our own context that we own and control from top to bottom. Yep. So that things won't be contaminated. Exactly. What about the main thing is like, you know, yeah. it's like who teaches the majority of our children from, from birth all the way up to the university, the system. Absolutely. Right. The system. The, the, and that's one of the things that we drastically change. And because I tell people like the people that's gonna be teaching our children is us. Who mm -hmm. is better in your field? Who is better in any of our fields than us? Right. So yeah. you know, why should I send my child out? I mean, and even to, if to, you to, 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 you know, to a teacher that doesn't know certain things and right. doesn't that's, have our experience. Just be so that's one of the big mistakes that we make as a people. Right. We have all of the education, but yeah, we we depend on yeah. other people to teach our well, children. We got we got to look at it like uh, you know, as like Denzel Washington said in Training Day, you know, it's, it's chess, not checkers. And mm -hmm. when you really 
you know, when you really think about it, like, okay, you can have an African-centered school, but that child has to grow up one day and get a job. Okay, if they want to, say, go into engineering or they want to go into, um, you know, planning or, or our architecture, at some point they have to work with Yorubu, the white man, you know, or, you know, you know, how do we get around that without building our own nation? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you have, to, you have to figure out all yeah. the aspects. It's not just your single or um, your own occupation and right. your own tribe, your own family. We have to look at it as our people as a whole. Absolutely. And what are we doing to build something for them? Because it's not just about me or you. It's not just about our individual families. It's about the young brother that's there in Memphis, Tennessee, that's 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 on the corner selling drugs. It's about that, that uh, young sister growing up in the suburbs of Atlanta and all she knows is church and uh, the white man's education, she's still a sister. These are all our people and we can't afford to just leave them to the wayside because they may or may not be conscious. We are grown up as Pan-Africans and we've been told and forewarned what to do. We need to build a nation for ourselves and do for ourselves. And that means us building a place for them and building a context yep. to control our own environment from top to bottom. We know what to do, stop playing around. You said it. Absolutely. The BIO is all about systemic solutions, systemic solutions for systemic problems. This is what we're here for. Absolutely, family. Let's keep it black and keep it strong. So, family, we're going to link up with you and keep you posted with many things. But, family, the main thing we want you to do is don't keep on sitting around and watching YouTube videos all day. Get in the movement. Join, join the revolution. Join There's a lot of join work us. to be done. Join our organization. You, know, you can start at a low level and work your way up. You know, There's a lot of work. There's number of work to be done. If nothing else, at least travel to the continent and see it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, family. So the journey continues, family, and we'll, we'll keep in touch and uh, we'll keep it strong. All right. All right. Peace. 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 Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs>